Well, you have some questions this week, I understand. Well, wait a minute. Didn't you have a report? A report? Uh, from, from a report from, from an Australian wrestling oh, event. Oh, yes. Hold on. I did have this. Interesting that I'm, I'm worldwide without it even leaving the house. I appeared in the ring in Australia recently from what we're hearing. I received this report from a uh, friend of the show, a, a friend of mine, Dan Leonard. I'm at the World Series Wrestling in Sydney live and just saw your dream match. Joey Ryan versus Joey Janela in a no DQ match. At one point, Ryan stapled a pick of Jim to Janela's face. Then Janela did an impersonation of Jim ranting about outlaw mud show wrestlers. <laughs> After the match, Janela told the sellout crowd, fuck Jim Cornette. So Jim has certainly hit a raw nerve with these two. <laughs> the sellout crowd. That's exactly right, folks. You couldn't have got another motherfucker in that barn with Vaseline. Uh, so let me get this straight. These two clown show, outlaw mud show, wannabe play wrestlers, one that I understand from people I've spoken to that, that have spoken to him brags about he, he trained himself, never had a wrestling lesson. That's that the goof that got stapled and the guy that gets his dick thrown up on in public of uh, who was the stapler instead of the staple E they traveled all the way to Australia, which is about as far as you can go without coming back to the other side to fucking get in the ring in front of a, I'm sure rambunctious crowd of drunks in some barn somewhere where they thought enough of me. And you know, this, this really does, this kind of warms the cockles of my heart. I'm sorry. I didn't mean, mean to say the word cock in conjunction with any story involving Joey Ryan, but it warms it tickles my heart. It just it just warms me deep down inside that I think enough that these guys think enough of me, that I'm I mean enough to them, that I am an icon enough to them and and a mentor and a guru. And they know they'll never please me because they don't have any talent, but they keep trying that they actually want to look like me. And right there in the middle of that match that they flew all the way to Australia to, so that some fucking goof running a flea market could pay them a small amount of money in Australian currency to puncture each other with staple guns that they thought enough of me to make sure that the fans got their money's worth also for the, they did this for the fans because they knew that the fans might riot, Brian, they might riot. They might set the seats on fire. If Jim Cornette didn't make an appearance on that wrestling event. So what they did was, to show how much they admire and respect me and look up to me. And also to make sure that those, that measly little small group of fans that looked like the fucking castaways on Gilligan's Island, that they would get their money's worth that they not, that, that the one goof, cause he knew that, that he would never look like me because, you know, I don't have a fucking short pudgy body that looks like a Brown and serve roll covered in pubic hair. So he was the stapler and the other guy, and he don't have much of a body to speak of either, but I don't really myself. So he took the staple so that he could look like Jim Cornette. And not only that way, he would be noticed as, as a big time, de big deal in the wrestling business for the first time ever in his life, but also so that Jim Cornette could make an appearance at that little outlaw mud show and, and warm the cockles of those few little paltry number of fans, heart. I think that's, that's one of those heartwarming stories. Apparently he stopped the match and did a Jim Cornette promo while wearing the Jim Cornette face that was stapled to his head. Well, I'm, you know, obviously, you know, that you follow through with it. It's like, I'm sure he dresses up as me on Halloween, which breaks from his normal tradition. They used to see his parents used to send him out on Halloween just as is. They figured it worked that way anyway, but now he dresses up as me because he wants to be like me that they, they all want to be like me which is a star in the wrestling business and independently wealthy. And I don't have to have people puke on me or shoot me with staples out in public if I don't want to, which I don't. So I don't, they all want to be like me and look up to me. And, and you know, if any of them was worth a shit, it would really flatter me. Thanks guys. Can you imagine standing next to like Luthez the first time, like, I don't know if you ever would have seen it. Someone whipped out a staple gun. I, I don't <laughs> think that I don't think he ever saw that because you didn't ever hear of Luthes being arrested for assault and battery. Did you? <laughs> yeah. 
I can't imagine. I can't imagine getting something stapled to my face. Just crazy. I did. And then when we talked about that, uh, the wrestlers uh, episode of of uh, or on death matches uh, not long ago, and uh, the staple gun is probably the most humane thing they do to each other for apparently no purpose or reason, otherwise than to convince people that they're fucking stupid. I don't know. Hey, have you seen this guy Superhuman that everyone keeps sending videos around of? I guess he's been a- doing a- it for apparently a while. not. He's a guy, his name is Superhuman, but he spells it with two M's. Superhuman, you man, but he does like a video, I don't know if they're every day or every week, and it's maybe 15 seconds. It's him on his back porch, and he sends it out to all the juggalos and juggalettes, and then he does some sort of finishing maneuver onto an inanimate object. Oh no, wait, does he look like a fucking little frizzy-haired goof with buggy whip arms and and a pale body, and and he jumps off his back porch onto uh, tables that have barbed wire on them or some object or whatever the fuck, and I, I, I just saw one. I didn't know it was a thing. Oh my God, I saw him drop an elbow onto a microwave the other day. <laughs> it's just one what? video after another. That's all he does. And he sends it out to the juggalos and the juggalettes. And then he just jumps on the thumbtacks or toys or jumps into the bushes. I wish he'd jump in the bushes <laughs> and stay there for fuck. What? 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 Why? Why? What in the world would make you, if you saw somebody else Internet jump fame. into barbed wire, would in- make you want to do it? Internet fame. Well, you just said his name on the internet, so. And apparently his parents are the ones filming, according to an interview. Oh, for also. God's sake. No. Yeah. And look, I know, and this kid, I mean, if we say kid, he's, he's good. At, he's got to be 18 years old, right? I think he's early 20s. Uh, okay. Yeah. But his parents are filming it while he jumps off the back porch into barbed wire and through tables and hurts himself. Is what you're saying? Yes. Allegedly. All righty. Uh, 